the Kansas City Royals hosting the Detroit Tigers, and the Royals are minus 125 on the money line. The Tigers are plus 105. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Tigers getting a run and a half are minus 190, which means they cannot lose the game by two if you bet them on that line. And the Royals are minus uh, plus 160 laying a run and a half, meaning they'd have to win the game by two. Now, Alexander and Hernandez both did pitch against the opposing team. Alexander pitched three times against the Royals last year. Everything was in relief. Two and a third, no runs, no earned. A third of an inning, no runs, no earned. One inning, no runs, no earned. And they lost two out of the three games that he appeared in. They lost 6-2, uh, they won 4-3, and they lost 7-5. Not to say that he got any kind of decision in that, but that's just what the numbers are. Now, Hernandez pitched against the Tigers three times last year as well. Twice were in relief. He went three innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game 6-5. He went two and two-thirds, gave up five. They were all earned. They won that game 9-8, to eight, and he went five innings, no runs, no earned, and they won that game 3-1. to one. The Tigers on a one-game losing streak. The Royals snapped their losing streak. They're on a one-game winning streak. The Royals are 6-4 and four in their past 10 against the Tigers. The team that's an underdog or a favorite are 5-5. Five and five. These teams are fairly evenly matched. The last seven games have gone under. The under is 8-2. and two. I'll take the Royals with the money line, the Tigers with the runs, and the under. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.